Welcome back folks, this is Shane. If you're looking for an affordable, portable and lightweight extension monitor for your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, you're going to love this. This is the Quamzy F1S 14 inch external display. This monitor is powered and controlled directly from your MacBook's USB-C port, allowing you to essentially double your screen real estate while keeping the size and weight of your laptop bag down. At the time of filming, this unit is listed at only $179 down from $269 and it's a no-brainer of a deal considering the price to performance ratio. Now just a quick disclaimer, Quamzy have sent this out for the review, but they've got no input into this video, nor do they get to preview ahead of time. Now if you're just looking for a tutorial on how to connect a MacBook to an existing external display, I'll link that up in the cards over here and you can check it out after this. Last year I traveled overseas and edited over 50 videos just using the screen on my MacBook Air. And while that screen is great, it's way too small if you're used to larger monitors. Here at the house I usually edit on a 27 inch iMac. This Quamzy FS1 monitor would have been the perfect solution for editing on the road and helping my entire workflow. Being that this monitor only weighs 885 grams, it can fit into your laptop bag without weighing it down too much. The F1S is a HD 1080p monitor with a native aspect ratio of 16 by 9, making it perfect not only for expanding your workspace, but also for native movie and video playback. The screen offers a 60 hertz refresh rate, making it nice and smooth to use with any of the tasks I've thrown at it so far. Whether you're working in Chrome, Pages, Numbers, or Final Cut, it feels and looks great. The display itself is an IPS panel with a 1000 to 1 contrast rating. This rating means that the darkest black will be 1000 times darker than the brightest whites. This monitor also has the same sort of high gloss screen found on the MacBook Pro, so they match really well when looking at them side by side. The F1S requires power for operation, so you can either power it from your MacBook's USB-C port or directly from the wall if you plan on using the provided HDMI cable. Now, I wrote this entire script on my MacBook Air using the Quamzy F1S monitor, and the experience was solid. I did find that due to the native resolution, I would need to bump up the font size a hair, but other than that, it was fine. As you can see by looking at the size of the text, it looks quite small. This can easily be adjusted in the control panel settings of your MacBook, or even within Notes itself, so no big deal. Working with Pixelmator, which is an image editing program, it looked great and the image quality seemed very comparable to what I'm used to seeing out of my MacBook Air. Working with Final Cut is also excellent. One of the big reasons why I wanted to test this out was to see whether or not it would improve my Final Cut editing experience, and it does. You can preview all of your footage on this monitor while doing all of your editing on the MacBook monitor. So the preview window is then moved over to here, giving you a much larger and easier experience when it comes to the editing side, and also a much bigger viewing experience. This is an absolute no-brainer for people working with Final Cut. Furthermore, the F1S has a built-in speaker. Now, just so you know, the speaker doesn't sound very good, but it's better than nothing. Once you have the screen connected, you can select where you want the sound to output from, either your MacBook speakers or the F1S. The volume of the sound can also be adjusted thanks to the small hardware wheel on the side of the monitor. For the easiest access to the volume control wheel, connect the USB-C cable in this orientation facing up. This will make it a lot easier to adjust the volume up or down for those wanting to use the onboard speakers. But don't expect miracles from the sound quality though. The MacBook Air speakers blow it away. If you have a MacBook, Windows laptop, or Android device that has a HDMI cable, you can simply connect your computer using that instead of the USB-C cable. Thanks to the smart connectivity of this device, it will also work with phones, tablets, or desktop computers, providing they have the appropriate connections. I could also see this being a great monitor for the ATEM Mini Pro or any type of live switcher in a live streaming or live switching environment where you want to be able to see exactly what's going on. On the back of the monitor is a stand that clicks out and it allows for easy operation in horizontal mode. If you want to use the screen vertically, the provided cover folds back and becomes its own stand. I really like the fact that the cover doubles as an integrating stand for this particular monitor. Lastly, if you plan on buying this, Check to see whether or not your computer's USB-C or USB-A port can supply 10 watts or 5 watts at 2 amps. Some makes and models might require you to use the HDMI cable instead of the USB-C cable, but the end result will be the same. For the price, this monitor is great. It's small, it's lightweight and compact, while still providing solid image quality. While it's not as contrasty as my MacBook monitor, for the price, it holds up pretty well. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. And those links work just about anywhere in the world. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. See ya.